Hey guys, welcome to Free Be Fit Pali Yoga Workout. Today's workout will be do starting on our back, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's just lie down, place your feet in a butterfly position, walk your shoulder blades in, palms facing up. Try to relax your inner thighs and hip flexors and just stay here for a little bit. Let's take five deep breaths. You will inhale on a count of ten and exhale on a count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your breath for a second and then exhale ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four more, follow your pace, follow your breath. Think about breathing from your lower abs. So pay attention where the breath goes, so it's not just the chest or the ribs, it's also your belly and the side body. You can place your hands by your by your ribs and try to give it pressure. What it'll do it provides feedback of where the breath goes. And you try and you will try to press away your hands with your breath. And if you're not feeling the difference, press a little harder obviously so it doesn't hurt, but still try to feel your entire belly and ribs and the chest with breath. Keep on going. You probably have a couple more left. When you're done, return to your natural breath. Bring your knees together and extend them out. Extend your hands up over your head. We'll be going into the roll up. Flex your feet, anchor your hips. Inhale, it legs and feel your tailbone elongating away from your head, your fingertips reaching high. Exhale, come up, roll over. When you're coming over, think about the scoop in your belly as if somebody pulling your abdomen away from you. And then inhale, start rolling back down. Exhale and come down. Keep on going. If you're moving way too much forward, you're probably not engaging your legs or you're swinging your arms too much so you're using momentum. Really press the feet together. Follow your breath. Got three more. Don't let your hands, don't let your hands um, keep on going. Move, rule the motion so you this is the difference I'm coming up with my hands my feet come off and this is me using my abs flex the feet I'm barely moving on the last one let's come up stay here adjust your sit bones we move the flesh out of the way think about grounding and lengthening Flex the feet, hips are anchored, close your eyes, think about drawing your shoulders back and away from your head, breathe, Bless your hands behind you, and press the fingertips into the floor, I'm, I have a long torso, so I'm barely touching the, the floor with my fingertips, if you have longer hands, so if you can't reach, grab a block, Hand, feet are together in parallel, we're trying to find length and space, but think about keeping the baby ribs together. So you're not, we're not at this point doing a chest opener. We're just trying to find the length and space between vertebra. Shoulder blades gliding away, feet flex. Stay here for six breaths. Inner thighs are working, feet are flexed, so we got dynamic tension through the body. Lower abs are engaged. Couple more breaths. 
Inhale, bring your hands up over your head, interlock the fingertips. If right now you got your left thumb over the right, switch the grip. I want to make sure that you're equally developed on both sides. So the first side is usually the side we go for. Interlock the fingertips and flip them over so the palms are facing up. Glide your shoulder blades away from your head, so you got the back body engaged. At this point, your shoulders, your traps, your lats are working, so all upper body is engaged. Triceps are working. Draw the shoulder blades away. Smiling collarbones, hands extended, feet together working. Six breaths. You this is usually called the stick vinyasa, so I'm, and I'm incorporating some mom um, moments. Twists with Pilates, because this is a Pilates fusion. But this is not easy. Your hands are really working right now. Your abs are engaged, you're bracing, feet are working. Exhale, feet behind, hands behind you. Take a small breather. Inhale, hands parallel. So at this point again, fingertips switching forward, fingertips switching up, shoulder blades are away from your ears. Exhale, forward fold. What you want, you want to reach for your feet. If you can't, grab a strap. At this point, most of us are really rounded. So we're caving in in our upper back, our lower back is rounded. What I want you to do, I want you to press away, press into your feet. The feet are pressing you back into the hands, you know, let's extend. If you need to bend the knees, go ahead and bend it. If you got tight hamstrings, we don't want you to hyperextend in your knees, so there's always a slight teeny bend. Think about lengthening through the back, chest opener. So we collarbones are smiling, and as you can see, my back is not rounded anymore. Breathe. Look in front of you towards the horizon. Active feet, active hands, everything is working. Keep pressing yourself towards your feet as much as you possibly can while the feet are pressing away from you. Dynamic tension, you can feel it in your hamstrings. A couple more breaths. Next one, place your hands by your side and just let yourself melt forward. You can place your hands in front of your head and just relax into the pose. Stay here for six breaths. You might feel a little tension in your mid-back because it actually was working through the last couple of movement. And this also helps the engagement of your back for the pull-ups or any other shoulder exercises you're doing, whether it's a kettlebell process, and you're teaching yourself to use your upper back. Let's come to seated. Place your hands behind you. Drive your shoulder blades back. At this point, walk your hands so that your palm is flat on the mat. Point your toes. Come up. So we're opening the front of the body. Neck is in line. The everything is working. Try to grow away from your shoulders, so the head is trying to lengthen, breathe. Brace your abs, inner thighs are working, and release. Now flip the hands so they're facing forward, bring the feet closer, so it's just like going into the tabletop, come up. Again, opening the back, front body, the shoulders. Engage your inner thighs and glutes. Try not to squeeze too much so you're not gripping, but you want it as close to the tabletop as possible. You can even walk your feet out if you want to. This is a lot of um, ex extension for your shoulders, so if you're thinking if it's too tight, maybe don't come up as high so you're not hurting yourself. Stay here, don't let your legs flat out, keep them together. Release. From here we're going into the teaser. 
Go ahead and roll back down. We'll do six. Here's a beginner option. Legs together parallel, extend one leg out. Bring your hands up and over your head. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, sit up. What you want, you don't want to run through the lower back. That means that you blow abs and engage. You really want to lengthen. This is the difference. You're lengthening, you're leading with your chest, and then roll back down. Then you'll switch the legs. And try to minimize the movement with the legs. And if you really want to extend the ankles, it will make it easier, adjust it to your level. For somebody who is more advanced, several options. Option number two, you come up. You can either start here and then come up and extend, or you go straight into the pose. From here, you can extend your hands up and down, or open them up. Okay, three more. Bend your legs, place them down. Roll back down. Open your legs into the butterfly position. Walk your shoulder blades in. And this will be it for today. Just stay here in the Shavasana as long as you want. Well, I'll till next time. Free to be fit and pile yoga. Ciao.